computer book and open first you open page number 67 you all please open page number 67 67 you all please open chapter number 5 chapter number 5 previous class that has discussed microsoft paint uh, this part that has discussed i hope you understood and here in page number 67 let's check this matching this part is not completed so first we will complete this matching and then i will discuss uh, opaque and transparent in paint and selecting a drawing as a desktop background zooming and creating a new drawing rest of the part that has discussed till magnifier tool uh, okay good afternoon beta good afternoon all of you uh, that has discussed till magnifier tool i hope you all have watched uh, attend the class today i will discuss first let's check match the tools with their functions and then rest of the part i will discuss today okay so you all please take out your book and open page number 67 good good afternoon all of you beta good afternoon now match the tools with their functions number a page number 67 open this is pick color tool okay and number b text tool number c eraser tool number c it is a tool and number d rotate number d rotate and number e pencil tool and number e pencil tool and right side this sentences i will not write it's in your book and you have your book with you so number a pick color color picker tool this one is used to copy a color from one area of the drawing to another area of a drawing option 4 a option 4 a please you all write down 4 a a color picker tool this one is used to copy a color from one area of a drawing to another area of a drawing do you have any questions any queries beta any problem can you hear to me can you see the board clearly beta reply me on chat quickly okay aiman sheikh aiman sheikh sheikh aiman okay join this class and sheikh wahid sheikh wahid please write down all of you take out your book and write down follow the class sheikh taufik sheikh wahid sheikh taufik and snehan jona snehan jona snehan jona and sohana khandekar sohana okay and choudhary hajra choudhary choudhary hajra okay fine and choudhary mondol choudhary mondol okay and choustov choustov okay got it and and shubhashri karmakar okay and swagatam re swagatam re and yasir ali mondol bhai yasir ali yasir ali mondol okay fine now next next one is number b text tool this one is used to type message in the drawing number 1 b number 1 b this is a text tool number c it is a tool number c to erase any part of the drawing number 5 number 5 to erase any part of the drawing it is a tool number 5 c 
see rotate to rotate number 2 to rotate the selected picture horizontally or vertically to rotate the selected picture horizontally or vertically okay beta i have taken your attendance please uh, note down the matching number 2d number 2d and pencil tool it is used to draw free hand drawing used to draw free hand drawing this is number e this is number e okay done beta okay magnifier tools are discussed this tool is used to make the drawing tool look bigger magnifier tool we use to make the drawing bigger so that we can identify where is if there is any gap in your drawing then you cannot use fill color okay fill with color tool you cannot use if there are any gap for that reason sometimes we require to enlarge the picture okay so magnifier tool is used to make the drawing look bigger click on magnifier tool in the tools group drag the mouse pointer on the drawing area click the part click on the part of the drawing you want to magnify that part of the drawing becomes bigger in size okay now turn over the next page i will discuss from opaque and transparent in paint opaque and transparent in paint but opaque in ms paint by default in ms paint you all please open page number 68 by default in ms paint the background color of the text box is transparent the background color of the text box is transparent okay to change the background color of the text box we can change the background color of the text box if you want to write something if you want to write any message in drawing area in paint you have to draw you have to use text box okay inside the text box you can write a message okay and you can change the color of the text box how please follow the steps choose the text box whose color you want to change which suppose you use in a, in a drawing is a five text box in your picture you use five text box but you have to choose first which text text box color you want to change first choose that 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 one and then click on the opaque button present in the background group in the background group there is a option opaque you just click on the opaque button and select the color tool in the colors group in the colors group there are two button color 1 and color 2 if you want to change the text box color you have to choose the color 2 button color 2 button you just choose the color 2 button from the colors group and select the desired background color and then select the desired background which color you want to change you have to select the desired color okay and you will observe that the selected color will be will reflect in your text box which color you select you can see that after changing this you can observe that reflect that reflect in your drawing that selected color will reflect in your drawing next is transparent transparent on selecting the transparent option only the text color will be the same in the text box as selected in color 1 box if you want to change you have to select the color 1 if you choose the color 1 box the background color of the text box will be transparent the color 1 the background color of the text box will be transparent now follow the steps choose the text box where you want to apply the transparent effect if you want to apply the transparent effect first you have to choose the text box and then select the transparent option from the background group and then select the transparent option it is an under of the background group opaque also in background group and then you will observe that the text will be selected text will be will have the selected color and which color you have selected in color 1 in color 1 which one is selected that color okay you will observe the text will will have the selected color but the background color of the text remain the same but the background color of the text box will remain same but the text will have the selected color okay and and that drawing remain the same as that of the drawing screen on the drawing screen you can see that the that 
text box color will remain same which one you have previously changed and that transparent using the transparent you can change the text color. Now select a drawing as a desktop background. Okay, very good beta Wahid. Okay, very good. Now selecting a drawing as a desktop background. How to select a drawing as a desktop background? How? How to select a drawing as Sarina Sujan? Okay. Sarina Sujan. Who joined? Okay, Sarina. Who is this? Sarina Sujan. Okay, I have I got it. Your first name is your. Okay, now how to change how to set a drawing as a desktop background how to do it let's check first once you have created a drawing in ms paint suppose you have drawn a beautiful picture in ms paint and then you want to set your drawing as a desktop background do you know that what is desktop when you turn on the machine but the first screen appears that is called desktop then when you turn on your machine which screen is appeared first that one you want to change desktop background you can change if you want to change if you want to set your drawing as a desktop background first click on the paint button click on the paint button and under of the paint button there is option set as set a desktop background there is your option under of the paint button set a desktop background you can change you can change the desktop background in this way now zooming the picture zooming zooming what is zooming using this uh, zooming means to zooming means in increase or decrease the view size not in permanently view size when our computer exam better it will shagatam uh, shagatam it will inform to you better it will upload it better don't worry about the date you just prepare yourself chapter number one two three four and five now zooming means to increase or decrease the view size of this object view size of the object on the screen on the screen if you want to select any object and if you apply zoom zoom in zoom in increase the view size and zoom out decrease the view size zoom in increase the view size and zoom out decrease the view size view size on the screen okay if you want to increase or decrease we have to apply zoom okay shubhasri it will inform it will inform to you it will be uploaded okay don't worry about that please attention in your class now now drawing any object in the drawing area drawing any object in the drawing area and to increase the view size of the object click on the zoom in to increase the view size of the object select zoom in option is present in under of the view tab where is zoom in option is present zoom in option is present under of the view tab under of the view tab okay zoom in increase the view size is zoom in option in under of the view tab in if you want to apply in decrease the view size then zoom out you just select the option zoom out it is also in under of the view tab click on the view tab there is option zoom out if you want to decrease the view size then choose the zoom out and there is another option zoom to 100 percent zoom to 100 percent that means if you want normal size if you want to get back click on the zoom to 100 percent the picture will come back to its the picture will come back to the normal size suppose you have drawn a picture and in a how draw a house and first you zoom in zoom out whatever you have done and then if you want to get back to your original in normal size you have to choose the zoom in 100 zoom to 100 percent option there is also click on zoom to 100% tool 
and the picture will come back its origin normal size in the normal size now turn over the next page do you have any queries any questions previous class that has discussed other part i hope you all understood now click creating a new drawing how to create a new drawing how to create a new drawing if you want suppose you are drawing your paint window is open you have drawn a beautiful picture now you want to draw another picture if you want to draw another picture you have to open a new window new window so how to do shouri what happened with the okay you don't have any problem okay fine fine if you have any questions any queries you can ask me okay okay now how there is a file tab you just click on the suppose you are drawing paint window is open there is a file tab click on the file tab in under of the file tab there is a option new under of the file tab there is a many options are there new open save save as exit print many options are there if you want to open a new paint window you just click on the file tab in under of the file tab there is a option new you just click the new option when you click the new option you can see one blank page will open for the drawing one new paint window will open for you new page will open for you okay new page will open for you in this way you can open a new create a new drawing and the next how to save our drawing saving our drawing it is a very important to save your drawing to this follow this given simple step it is very important after drawing if you want to save if it, without saving if you shut down your machine then you, you will not get back to your drawing if for the next time you you have to save your drawing if you want to save your drawing which some steps you have to follow there is also after drawing if you want to save your drawing click on the file tab click on the file tab in click the file tab there is a menu will appear there is option save you just click the save option when you click the save option save as dialog box will open when you click the save option save as dialog box will open okay save as dialog box will open and there is a file name box is there you just type the file name if you want to save anything you have to give a name that name should be unique if you give a name and that uh, name file is already exists in your machines you cannot save it the computer will show a message this file is already existed do you want to rip, want to overwrite that means when you give a name that name should be unique okay and typing the name there is a button save save and can cancel two but buttons is there after typing the name in down you can see two buttons are there save and cancel if you after typing the name obviously want to save and click the save button and then click the save button you can see that your file will be saved your paint will save okay and save as window appeared then type the name of the file file name box click the save button the file will be saved and after saving your document is a top right corner when you open the paint window in the top right corner there is a control button what are the control button minimize maximize and close maximize and restore button and close button close button we use to close the application if you want to close the paint window after saving we have to close if you want to close that application you can click the close button okay and now if you want to open a file suppose today you saved a file my house that name is my house and the next day but that drawing is incomplete so you save that one for next time you can open and complete it so if you want to use the next time obviously you have to save your file your file is saved and next day you want to open how to open your same file how to open your same drawing you have to follow this step there is a file tab you just click on the file 
step there is a this is page number 70 beta this is page number 70 now if you want to save if you want to open a existing file which file is not there suppose yesterday you drawn a picture but it was not saved if file is not saved you cannot open today which one is saved you can open that file only that only which one you have saved previously you can open this one suppose you don't have computer book if i tell you open your computer book page number 70 can you open this no you cannot open that means that file should should be existing previously if the file is there you can save in in our machine you can get back this one otherwise not so file click on the file tab there is a option open open means existing file you want to open click the open there is a menu when you click the open whatever file is saved in under of the pane uh, all the file will display which one you want to open you just select it one time if you press it that means the file is selected and there is option open or cancel if you want to open click the open button after selecting the file you just click open button then the file will open in paint okay open button and the file opens in paint understood and the next one is closing a drawing how to closing a drawing that means we can close a drawing by following these steps if you want to close the drawing paint if you want to close the paint i already told you but using the control button you can close and otherwise another option is there under of the file tab you just click on the file tab in under of the file tab there is option exit under of the file tab there is option exit you just click on the exit button you just click on exit button if you click on exit button and then file will exit okay that means paint window will exit okay do you have any queries any questions from this chapter you can ask me in the next class i will discuss book exercise okay next class i will discuss book exercise no problem okay fine and you all will learn all the five chapters okay okay very good very good beta shoshak swagatam chauri no problem okay upay uh, beta it will uh, upay on it will inform to you beta to be uploaded okay then for today this much see you next class thank you bye bye have a nice day bye beta bye all of you